Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and this time we're gonna do... I'm gonna do a regular cane run. It's nice and simple. We can do like light path mega satan and hush maybe. That'd be a, a pretty good amount of stuff to get done. And we just haven't played as a regular old simple pimple character in a little while. Um, so why not? So why not? As for the question of the day, we'll start that off early. Um... Hmm. What's what's something that early in life you were afraid of that you're no longer afraid of anymore? As I, I mentioned in a previous episode about uh, like what would you tell your younger self? For me, it was I, I I had a really sort of like big fear of like being an adult, <laughs> which I think a lot of people end up having. Um, but like yeah, I had a, I had a really bad issue of like I, I I basically went to university for the sole reason of not having to go to work for an extra few years because I was kind of worried to go into like the workforce and I didn't really want to. Um, oh my god, I'm definitely gonna pop this in this room. Okay, get off the webbing, please. Um, yeah, I I really had a, a hard time sort of internalizing that fact, and I, once I got into it, I, it ended up being absolutely fine. Um. But yeah, for the longest time, I really just did not want to work at all. I just did not like the idea of it, which I'm sure most younger people probably think the exact same thing. Um, start off with a bit of a punching bag. I don't mind punching bag. He can be, he can be all right. He can be just fine, just dandy. I like the fact that um, with a with our good look, look at this. The, the the sting is just stuck on our punching bag there. As Kane, you get that nice extra damage to start you off with, and obviously all pills being positive is a great addition. Like, it's kind of weird that the- because I don't know if you, if any of you know, like, who- some of you might have played before Repentance, some of you might not have. But prior to Repentance, that the um, ability for him to have better pills wasn't actually in the game. However, it was in the Flash version. It was in, um, in the version before Rebirth. Um, and so they actually ended up adding it in Repentance just because it was, like, like fitting for the character from what he used to have in the Flash version and everyone liked it. It is definitely a bit strong and it makes Kane probably one of the strongest um, early game characters. But um, it's nice that they've re-added it. I like it. I like it. Also, it's nice to have a, a way for these black balls to like just kind of go away for a little bit and do their own thing. Uh, hang around our punching bag for a while. I like that. They seem to be almost exclusively going for him. Means we can kind of focus on what's important, and that is killing the boss. It's taking a little while because he's moving a lot, but we'll get there. Still remember the good old days when he used to just be able to kill himself with his own bombs. That was beautiful. Now, he can still do it. He actually did do it just there. Um, but it's, it's nowhere near as common because the bombs only do, like... 50% damage or less now. They used to just do full damage. It was kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to stray in here, taking a risk. It's always risky doing this with ease. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Reasonably happy with how that went. I managed to navigate the spikes just fine. You both hurt your hands. It's just, it's just nice to get, like, one enemy off of your back for a while. But yeah, I, I was saying in the last episode as well about, like, um, in the last question of the day about, like, putting things off that I've been wanting to do. And second channel stuff is definitely something I want to get more into. I need to play more Elden Ring, because for one, the game is just fantastic. And people that were watching the second channel were enjoying it, so I need to get around to recording more of that. And I want to start up a Skyrim series. I've mentioned that as well. Um, regardless of how many people watch it, main, the main reason I want to start a Skyrim series is not really for you guys, for the audience. It's because... I've never finished the game, and it's because I always start a new character or go back to looking for mods again and remod it and all this sort of stuff. I need a reason to like keep me playing it. I need something to like keep me keep me going with the game for a while. Piggy bank, not bad. Ooh, hello. Um I don't know if having two of these does anything for us. It definitely gave us two soul hearts though. Um Maybe the bombs have a higher chance to be ghost bombs now potentially. That'd be nice. Don't shoot your coins at me, foul beast. Um, I'll I'll take the black card. There's potential for it to be good. It's not particularly good. Um, 
as is, but you could get some really good shop items. And more so than, more often than not, it's more, like, preferable, or really. It's preferable that you, like, just use it, like, say you're at, like, 12 pennies, and usually, like, three more. Why am I shooting my little buddy? God damn it. My fool. Tears up. Nice. The ghost bomb right there. Look up. Pills are on our side right now. It's like even though you get all good pills, there's still the chance to get pills that aren't that effective. But these are some actually very good pills. Health up. We've had health up, tears up, luck up. Ow. I knew it was a possibility. Let's try it though. Come on, punching bag, get over here. That's the only thing with punching bag. In large rooms like this, he's just going to kind of hobble near the door and kind of sit there. There is an enemy on him right now, but not really enough. And he's just left him. Hey, you got a friend over there. Why don't you stick with your friend? But yeah, at the minute, I'm uh, I'm also doing some bulk recordings because um, I have my cousin's wedding coming up this weekend and I'll be away Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I need to prepare videos for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's always a little bit annoying when I have to like prepare backlog videos like this because it's like... I always feel like the videos are slightly lower quality if I have to, like, do a lot of recording sessions in one day. Uh, but no, no one's ever commented about it, so I think it's just, like, my own... It's, it's, like, my own insecurity about it rather than anyone actually caring or noticing. But I always feel like if I'm doing multiple recordings in a row like I am now, my energy levels are lower or my commentary is worse because I've got less to talk about. But, like I said, people never really mention it, so it's not something I should probably worry about as much as I do. You know what? I'm getting annoyed with you. Also, it does look like our chance for ghost bombs is definitely elevated with having a, a golden version of this item because we're getting a lot of ghost bombs. Take that. I'll, I'll go Devil Deal as well here. Why not? I will certainly take those. Um, do you know what? I'll play you as well. Let's let's take out the fires first just in case. Just because we're going to get some good money out of doing this from piggy bank and stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Right, nice one. Let's go. Grab these hearts. Oh, I can't grab that one. Okay. We are good. We were going to do Mega Satan. Uh, that, has, that has since been put on hold because I've uh, forgot about that and gone to a devil deal. Whoops. I guess all I can say is, oh, my fucking life is whoops. Um, not a big fan of punching back in this room because um, I can't stop this guy from firing. This is a really rough room. Did not like that at all. We're on very low health now. Oh shit, I see what's got to, what, what we gotta do here. Got a secret room for that as well. Nice. And then here we get Gorgon. Oh, Gorgon's great. Gorgon is very, very good. Yeah, a chance for ghost. This is this is a really interesting run. A chance for ghost bombs here is through the roof, baby. Oh, there you go, effigy room. Apparently, blowing up these effigies is a good idea too. I can't remember what you get from them, but yeah, that's it. You can get wooden consumables. I didn't know that to start with. Um, Queen of Spades. What was Queen of Spades do? Spawns uh, one to ten keys. Three. Yeah, having a lot of bombs with this setup is particularly quite good. Especially if there's a lot of effigies about like that. Extra pill for us there. Be useful. I will pill for <laughs> that pill. See, like, bad gas is a, is a bad good pill. Oh, we've got a morbid heart there as well. Hello. Didn't see that one. Lovely. Okay, health is back to, back to being in a good spot now. Also, this, yeah, this Gorgon buddy, he's so goddamn good. Ow. So much money. I bought the, the item that lets me, like, steal from the shop, essentially. And it's like, nope, don't need it. Oh, my God. If I could get hit more, that'd be great. Do you know what? 10 plus bombs, it's not great. But I will take 10 plus bombs because having all these effigies, potentially, means that our bombs are pretty damn valuable. And all, all, obviously, as well, we have Void plus Ghost bombs. They're pretty valuable in combat, too, so... Really don't mind that at all. But yeah, enemies are just like frozen all the time with this guy. 
pick whatever this is. Fidget cube doesn't really do anything for us. Look up. I don't even know what the fidget cube does, I'll be honest. Grants an increasing amount of damage and tears when used rhythmically. Damage and tears gradually go away if not being used. Uh, it's, it's just too, it's too annoying of an item to actually keep it going all the time. It means I have to basically spam space all the time. And I have to stick to a rhythm. It's like, eh. I ain't no guitar hero sort of boy. Look how beautiful that bomb was. Also, you keep going for punching back. You do that. In this situation here, I'm just stood still. Pretty worthwhile to use it, but otherwise not very good. Range up, lovely. Okay, down we go. Down we go. But yeah, definitely going to be using my bombs for combat a lot more. For some reason, some enemies here changed, but others didn't. That's a new one to me. That's a new one to me. I've not seen that happen before. Again. Weird. Is it like is it like a 50% chance for any enemy or the whole room? I'm not entirely sure. Pretty good. We'll take that. That's a lot of stats, baby. You get frozen up there. Lovely. I didn't mean to open that, but I've got the keys, so it's okay. Key beggar! I'll go down to four keys. Happy with that so far? You're not getting any more, buddy. You're not getting any more. You're a cheeky little fucker. You always want so many keys, it's annoying. Can have a few and that is all. What, what's going on in this room? Oh, we got a little potato circling around us. A potato flew around my room. Me, ah, oh, boy. Okay. Slightly annoying enemies here. Let's do our best with them. Any that spawn bubbles can be a real problem. They just spawn so many. It's a whole bubbly ass room. I like his little wet stompies. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Really good animation work. That's something that I'm like always the most impressed about with uh, with any mods in any games, really. It's just the absolute like insanity that people can go to to make some of these really high quality animations. Absolutely mental how good some of them are. Oh shit, there's a I didn't see you there. You were frozen so you blended in. Oh, bastard. Check in here. Ooh, baby, I love you way. Okay, that's much better. I'll definitely take that. I'll take those just in case. Morlin Clay here is absolutely fantastic. Um, Balrogs, unfortunately, is an active that I will not be taking. Um, but yeah, Morlin Clay is insanely good. Basically, we could duplicate one item per floor. It's 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 kind of insane how strong it is. I don't know how it's not quality four. It's 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 set to be quality three, but. I would definitely say it's quality 4 in my eyes. Having two of certain items is super good. And then just, yeah, generally being able to duplicate anything. Like a stat upgrade or something would be good. You can, I think you can steal shop items and devil deals with it too. It's just kind of crazy how good it is. Ooh, you're really on uh, Punching Bag's tail there. Get off him. He's a cute little lad and he doesn't need your business. He doesn't need your business. Oh god. For some reason I wasn't expecting that shot. Definitely use some bombs here. Ow, my bad. One bomb did you in. Good, good. 
So we can either double this or we can try and get a devil deal doubled. Um, yeah, I'll double that. I'll take two of them even. I'll, I'll have two of these buddies. Don't even care about that really. These, these little guys are actually pretty good. They can spawn, um, spawn little minions that come from the immoral hearts. And you see, look, I'm molding Clay's back already. Yeah, there's one of them, look. One of our minions now. I think it's whenever they collide with an enemy, so having more of them is just a higher chance for that to happen. Yeah, there you go. He collided. Well, we got like, three of these buddies going now. It's just, I think, a re I think it's for a quality zero, I think it's actually insane how good it is. Beautiful. So many chests, wow. Pocket Bible's pretty good, but don't really need it. Go, my little buddies. It's just going to spawn them so quick, and especially in, like, long boss fights, it's going to be even better. Obviously, big rooms, it's not as good, because it kind of relies on, like, close contact, but it works still. A gog and still freezing stuff, even if it's at the other side of the room. He managed to, like, perfectly squeeze through that gap there. That's slightly annoying. So many chests. I mean, I know we have decent luck, but goddamn. Really lucky in the amount of chests we're getting. This is definitely a time for this. Didn't hit him at all, luckily for me. Beautiful. Managed to kill almost all of them there. Forever alone, I think I'm just going to take. I, I doubt I'll be duplicating forever alone, I'll be honest. It's kind of better to leave stuff so you know what you want to duplicate, but that's something that I, I don't think I really care about duplicating all, soon, all too much. Health is a little bit on the rougher side at the minute. It'd be nice to get a few more soul hearts in there, but it's not terrible. Oh god. I got a burnout on me before I even noticed. Cheeky boy. Yeah, just it just means one enemy is like completely subdued for the entire start of the room, because a gorgon's just staring at him menacingly. We got a few more of these bad boys. Mallet, I don't really care for. Definitely about the soul hearts, what I was just talking about. Item room still haven't found yet. Look at all those ghosts. We have so many potential minions, it's kind of crazy. Another pill there, lovely. Fair. Unfortunately, infested isn't great for us. This other room here won't lead anywhere, but I should do it anyways. Slightly upset I did this room because it's kind of a hard one, but luckily we have punching bag, which is making it a hell of a lot easier. We didn't have punching bag. That that was definitely me getting hit there. Extra bomb that I didn't see. Lovely. I'm glad I backtracked for that. In fact, I'm going to use the bomb right here, right now. The void things, the void holes, whatever you want to call them, circles, they just last so long. They like stick around and do damage for such a long time. Why these bombs are so good. Obviously not as good as having uh, as having actual more of the void itself. It's still really strong. Oh shit, I managed to reveal one of these guys. That's not great for the situation we're currently in. Yeah, I just had to kind of take the hit on the chin there to get that dealt with. Extra pennies. Lovely. You're going to shoot at that guy, aren't you? My, my little punching bag. You fool! Hey, we found it. Good, good. Really nice to freeze these guys as well. Helps out a ton. Tears have a chance to confuse enemies and cause them to shoot lightning out in random directions. Let's take two of those. I don't know if having two of these does anything good for us, but... I like the idea of having two of them. It might just up the chances of it occurring. It might do nothing. 
who knows. It still sounds like an interesting item, though. It's the first time I've had it, which is kind of crazy considering how long I've been playing with this mod on, but... There you go. Right. Boss time. We are here. You're going to be getting an absolutely amazing devil deal now. That's actually a potentially good one to duplicate. All good stuff. And then neither of these are worth duplicating, so that that, that kind of worked out in my favour. Right, down we go. Yeah, I want to see this plasma thing at work. It sounds like it could be really cool. I don't know what the chances are to shoot them out, but... I don't know if it's a different looking tier. Or just like a chance to happen sort of thing. Don't really like the idea of this. Hands aren't so bad. Four of them is a little, little too much though. Calm down, game. No need for that. Can't remember what this guy does. One second. It's an absolutely massive, massive, mahusive, big sneeze. Came my way. Fish oil. Fish oil is slightly bigger tears, isn't it? Come on. Thank you. Do we want to dupe it? Do we want to dupe it? Nah, I don't think so. I'm gonna use a bomb here. Really? Copper bomb? Do you have to do this to me? More bombs though, it's nice. It's nice. More of these fellas. More of these fellas. I was hoping to grab that, but it didn't really work out in my favour. Um, I'm sure he's the boss. Slightly misplay there, but it kind of works out. And I suppose I could mold and clear the negative and then take the Polaroid. Because I think it's Polaroid and it's take, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I'm trying to go fa fast and reach hush here. You can also do boss rush. We don't need to, but I can try it out. So don't take any of them yet. Let's check in here first. Tractor Beam, of course, is really good. Pride Pin, of course, is really good. Let's take a doubled Tractor Beam. Or, to be fair, we could take one Tractor Beam. And we could take one Pride Pin. Yeah, let's do that. There you go. Perfect. Best of both worlds. And basically, my thinking here is that I can hopefully just... Um, get a ton of my little buddies spawned. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get rid of this entire midsection here. Like, all these little buddies do. Mixed with punching bag should hopefully keep the juices flowing here for us. Don't know how many we're going to end up having by the end of this, but it should be quite a lot. Good. Killing stuff pretty quick. Pride Pin's definitely helping out as well. I'm glad we was able to take Tractor Beam plus this. It's nice the way that it works. It's not like you pick up an item and then it doubles it. It just takes the item. Oh shit, it's you. I didn't realise that was what the other enemy was. I was confused. I don't know if there's a limit to how many of the little uh, fiend guys we can have. I'm hoping not. We got a B. The letter B as well. So many Bs. Attack Bs. There you go. Stand here and let the Bs just annihilate whatever spawns next. There you go. Oh, and now we have the teeth going as well. 
Yeah, the thing is as well, these little dudes can do crits too. They're really good. Really goddamn good. Of course, you're gonna do this attack now. Okay, wasn't so bad. Ah, uh, no, it's Kingpin. Russ, everybody run. Hide from the design of this boss. Run and hide. He's almost dead. He's dead. Oh, there's a thorn going around like a bee, like a bee stinger. Where the hell did that come from? I was going to call it a bee thorn for a hot minute then. I was like, wait a minute. These have names. <laughs> Definitely not bee thorn. I think I'm limited to three little buddies, you know, unless I'm just getting really unlucky with it not hitting enemies. Is it three that I have? It might be more than three. No, there's three next to me, look, like, chasing me now. Oh, no, 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 he just spawned another one. I was just getting unlucky. Hey, you get frozen, fool. This is another boss that I really don't like. Someone did say about using the rules mod to, like, stop, um... Stop enemy spawning. There's two reasons I, w I wouldn't want to do that. Is one, I haven't had a lot of like, success with the rules mod being like working as it should. Like, before I've tried using it to replace stuff and it just didn't really work the way it, it was intended to. Uh, I don't know if that was user error or the, the actual mod. And the other thing is it definitely caused a lot of lag. So the last I tried it, I could definitely try it again and see, but I don't think that's going to have changed. What up, baby plum? How are you doing, fool? Look, it's only my little buddies fighting Mega Fatty right now, and they're gonna kill him before I kill Plum. Pretty much the exact same timing. There's only five of them, I'll take them. They can just do such a good job, it's crazy. It's good old good stuff. Ooh, good hit, good hit. I think this should be the last wave. Nope, one more. I think one more. Might be might be two more. There you go, you're gonna get destroyed now. They're all on you. They found their way over. No, one more? Okay. I am wrong so far. Maybe there's another one after this. I haven't fought an angel yet, I don't think, so maybe there is more. But you don't always fight the, the, the exact same bosses. I don't know if it's a mod that I have on that adds the Fiend Folio bosses in. I'm pretty sure it is. Or it might, it, it might just be Fiend Folio that does it. But it means that you don't always get the exact same bosses every time you do boss rush. There you go. Oh, we got such a good item as well. Hell yes. Play-Doh cookie is insanely good. Um, and yeah, we take Polaroid here. Yes, we do. We do want to be doing Hush, so works out for us. Um, one second. Right, let's keep this moving and grooving. We've got a good, good thing going on here. I'm liking the setup we've got. Oh, look at the nice synergies working alongside. Uh, what's it called? Um, tractor beam. I like the tractor beam synergies. Cool stuff. It working with herming is like a blessing. Oh, everything tends to poop. Everything tends to poop. Still don't have a great deal of damage. As you can see, we've only got... Um, we've only got 5.37, but we've got all these little augments that are... Oh, our tears up is great. We've got all these little augments that are making it better. Die, right, fiend. I tried. I tried to use a bomb in there, but he ended up dying before the bomb even went off. Ah! Ah! My god, how did I not get hit against that guy? What the fuck? My god, these rooms are stressful. Golden Key, I don't think that does much for us. Back we go. Whoa, what the fuck hit me then? Did I get, like, walk on some creep or something? I think I did. Always my biggest 
failing in this goddamn game. Touching things I goddamn shouldn't. Probably should take the bombs, to be honest. They're super valuable. We have a very aggressive damage strategy with bombs. And for the for the hush fight, it's actually probably quite important we get as many bombs as we possibly can. So, so keep that in mind. Ooh, this could be good. Ooh, yes. Please. We'll also take that as well. Okay, piercing once they've traveled far enough. I like that a lot. Ooh, goddamn. Getting hit a lot to some very dumb stuff right now. All my fault, of course. Working very weirdly with tractor beam as well. Very weirdly, but do not mind. I'll buy the bomb as well, why not? Got to keep an eye on things. Oh, for God's sake, we keep going the wrong way. Keep going the goddamn wrong way. We dropped another bomb. Nice. Look at all that. When all, literally all the possible routes apart from this one and this one was the right way. Why you gotta be like this game? Why you gotta do it? Ooh, these enemies are very, very frustrating. Yep. One of them hit me already. Health really is not in a good state, but especially for the hush fight, but we push on. We'll be fine. Some bees helping us out. Lots of things are freezing. Oh, more bombs, more bombs, more bombs. Up to 18, baby. Wasn't expecting it to get to that much, but I like it a lot. The rainbow, the rainbow circles of electricity. You can't deny how good that is. Ooh. Hello. Unfortunately, I, like, if I had another guppy item already, I could duplicate that and try and see if I could get guppy transformation, although I'm not sure if that exactly works. That'd be a pretty good way of doing that, right? <laughs> Just you? Just you. Chests. More pills. One makes you small. More of these freaks. Gotta bomb him now just to see if you get anything good. Thank you for freezing this guy for me. And it's boss time. Ah, uh, it's a boss I don't like. And in, in a very, very weird room design too. Not a big fan of this. I'm just going to stare back and fire at the piss kidney. Okay, the piss kidney's dead. Okay, good, good, good. Bar of soap. Um, I mean, I might as well duplicate the bar of soap because I've not duplicated anything else. And it might give me two soul hearts at the start of the next floor. We'll see. It did. Okay, very, very nice. Glad I duplicated that. Oh, good room. Oh, wait. I managed to kill that guy? How? I don't know what I had that destroyed that wooden dude. I'd like that to happen more often, for sure. These teeth shots that split are so goddamn strong. The crazy thing about the teeth shot as well, is if you have the teeth shot item, it gives you half fire rate. Like, it lowers your tier rate by loads. But if you're have, if you using it based on the... Um, another tier's up, wow. If you're using it based on the pride pin, it's just a tier effect that you gain for a short amount of time and it doesn't affect your tier rate. It's not like um, $3 bill where it gives you the, the, the tiers down for like getting triple shot sort of thing. It doesn't work that way. Kind of crazy. Very useful. Found the boss already. Very, very nice. Probably should take the key. Maybe go and hush fight. Just in time for hush, got about a minute and a half left. Oh god, that was a good hit from you there, good sir. We get two soul hearts when we go down to the next floor anyway, so includes the hush floor, of course. Get that bad boy on you. Beautiful damage. Easy done. 
got a devil deal there as well. We'll check it out. Nope, little minx. I've been told how that works now. Basically, from what I know, and thank you for this person that called this out, enraged enemies will fight other enemies and have like really, really crazy high stats. But the downside is that obviously they, they live for longer and they can come after you as well. Um, but it means that you, uh, but it means that they also take double damage too. So you could like do it to a boss and deal double damage to them. It's it's pretty it's pretty interesting. Ooh, double parish rags is pretty interesting. Double snake is even more interesting. I'm gonna double snake. Wait, doubling snake not do anything for me? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. It didn't give me two snakes. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Why didn't it give me two snakes? Snake is the coolest item. Basically, it just creates a snake of tears. It's interacting very strangely with um with our current setup with Stranger Tracks. Not Stranger Tracks. What the hell is it called? Tractor Beam. Doesn't really like that. This guy's taking a while to go down. I love this rework in the first phase of the hush. So good. Beautiful. And we've got 20 bobs to go at. I'll be honest, we're probably going to end up using all of those. Luckily, this guy's a big tiger, so we should end up spawning a lot of freaks to help us out. It's going to be a fairly long fight, though, regardless. Oh, dude, he spawned two in one go there, in one pass. Yeah, we're going to spawn a lot of these guys. Where's that other dude? He's all the way down here, I see. Of course I get the laser rings while he's underground. Why wouldn't I? Barely got to use the laser rings there. So many bees. Get in there, bees. Do your thing. Do your thing. Ah, oh, dude. This little guy just passed right over and didn't spawn anything. Traitor. Must just be a chance for it to ha occur. I don't know, I guarantee. Good, good. We're doing just fine here. Taking him out reasonably quickly. Ow. Very bad hit by me. Okay, that gives just, that just gives us some ghosts to attack him with. Not a bad thing. Little dudes are doing crits. Just get a bomb in there every now and again. Of course, he goes underground for a moment. I throw a bomb at him. Oh yeah, look, look how many little fellas we got going on right now. A lot. I want to stand close to him so that they get back on his targeting. There you go. Hey, my electricity came at the right time this time. Awesome. It's absolutely shitting on him. I love the little mushroom projectiles here as well. Especially the mushroom snake. Look at that mushroom snake. Look at it go. Beautiful. Majestic. Look at it in nature. It's in its natural habitat. Fighting. Hush. God. This is the attack where I always lose some HP, so let's try and not do that this time. E. Survived it, for now. Okay, you are basically dead now. One more bomb in there to finish you off. Yeah, look how many fellas we got going on with us here. Awesome stuff. The D12, really? That's how we unlock the D12? Okay. Um, and we are going Light Path. We've got some good stuff done. We should be able to do Light Path pretty easily here, I would think. Um, oh, we got Papyrus just rags. Doing something in that room, I think. Oh, wait, no. It's just, it's just the way that Snake spawns. It like spawns 
stuck to us via our, what's it called? Um, via our tractor beam and then kind of breaks free eventually. It's, it's looks a bit strange. I'm still genuinely absolutely devastated. It didn't make two separate snakes when I took the item twice. Like, it might be the fact that it's just there is two two snakes there that are just layered directly on top of each other. Still, I wanted two snakes. Well, truly devastated. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up. What the hell happened there? Enemy was like infinitely splitting. Luckily, it didn't last long. Die, thank you. Press of the unknown. Isn't... Hmm. I think this was the boss, the, the mini boss I was meant to fight there, and it turned him into that. Oh my god, the farts. There was two little ghosts in here. They are, they are since gone. There you go. Other one's on his way back, trying at least. Good, good. I like the fact that Pirate Strikes always uses one, an extra book on a boss fight as well. I think that's a great addition. Like every the every third room thing is nice and makes it reasonably powerful, but make guaranteeing that it always does it on a boss is so nice. Because obviously there's so many books that you save specifically for bosses. A really cool item. Oh really? You're gonna escape one more time? Not just giving me that one, could you? Right, taken care of. Let's see what our chests hold for us. Which one do we want to duplicate? Coin bag. New challenge as well. Well, 2020 is definitely the one we do things, so it's good. Beautiful. Keep this moving and grooving. Oh god. That was confusing. We got mum's contact here as well. Oh my god. Some fire rate going on in that room. What the hell? We got good luck here as well, so we, there's a reasonable chance that we're gonna get some uh some chests going. Hey, I'm room clears. That's actually a pretty good idea to take because I, I think he's not going to do anything for us anymore. Our molding clay is our last floor, so. This is a reasonably long floor, so we could use this book to gain quite a lot of damage potentially. There's a chest back here as well. Good hit, sir. Good hit. Sissy, hell yes. It's not great. It's sad that it only gives you the the, uh, the bonus for the room. If they give you it for the floor, it'd be such a good item, but that might be too good. Just money's a big thing to throw away for a one room be benefit. It's like only usable in like end game boss fights, and that's kind of it. Oh shit. I was like, well, I can't kill this guy, but he's got one of those little flies around him. I see you now, I see you. Yeah, this the, the double 2020 definitely elevated this run quite a bit, didn't it? I like it. Such a dramatic death. No need, my boy. Damage going. It's diminishing returns, but still, even just three or four uses gets you like a plus two damage bonus. Pretty good. Hey, pretty quickly this time. Got a lot of bees next to us. Ugh. 
This guy. Really? This guy. But watch him do his whole shebang. That's another thing about the Fiend Folio bosses. I, I, I sound like I'm dogging on them all the time, I realise. It's kind of because I am. But just... They just... They're so cool. But they just don't fit with the game's style, in my opinion. They have way too much dramatic flair, like that guy, where he's just got, like, the longest invincible animations to switch over. Like, they've all got really long death animations for no good reason. And they all have, like, 16 attacks that they don't need. And their attacks are always overcomplicated. It's just, yeah, it's just a, a whole lot of extra business that isn't necessary. Glitter bombs. God's flesh, why not? A tears up pill, definitely. Hey, last room, didn't you have to do it? The only thing is, you don't get charges if a room ha if that happens to a room. What I got charged there? Look at all these multicolored mushrooms. Whoa! There's a bunch of bombs on him there. Where'd all those bombs come from? Also, this is an insane amount of bees. Is there no limit how many bees you can have? God damn. I'm just, I'm just dropping bombs like a madman right now. Hoping for the best. What the hell? We got amalgamation. Some, somehow. Really good trinket, but not particularly necessary right now. Okay, nice. And there you go. What a run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I did indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.